hey, listen, I don't just like this thing, I love this thing. And if you wanna get your life on a computer easy, particularly when it comes to websites you like to visit, this is the Stream Deck and I'm gonna show it to you in this video. Now, normally I have it light out to program my OBS. I have all my scenes, my PowerPoint back and forth, couple texts to put in the chat, just basic things like that. But you realize, yes, there's 15 buttons here, but there's 10 pages worth of 15 buttons. So I can keep going over and over and have new ones. So with these buttons here, I'm gonna show you how to program websites into these buttons so that you can just push a click and be there. Now, I'll bring up here, I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about because these are just some of the websites that I, I go to all the time. I mean, Facebook, my Zoom account, uh, YouTube channel, email, Vimeo, uh, this is my high level, Google a lot, LinkedIn, couple AI things I like to use a lot, Stripe, and then, and then my website. I'm gonna show you how to program these into the Stream Deck. And it starts by you getting the Stream Deck software. I'll put a link to the Stream Deck software in the chat, but when you download it, this is what it looks like. So page one, I have set for, for my online presentations. Page two, you hit the plus sign if you don't have it to, but go to page two, and now I have this blank scene here. There's all these blank buttons. I'm gonna go under system and I'm gonna to go to website and I'm gonna grab a website, drag it and drop it right over the top. And now I'm gonna give it a title and a URL. In fact, I probably don't even need to give it a title. Let me just go and copy, I'll, I'll do Facebook first, do these right in order. I'm just gonna copy Facebook, the actual URL. And then when I bring up the Stream Deck, I'm gonna paste that in the URL and it's actually gonna, once I hit enter, it's actually gonna go find, and look, Facebook's right there. I don't even need a title. This is gonna go super fast. Let me go to the next one. The next one was Zoom. I'm actually just copying where I'm already logged in. So now I'm gonna grab a website, drag it to the next square, and then paste the URL, just like that. And I already got it. We'll go to the next tab. This is my YouTube channel. So I'll grab that, go back to the software, grab a website, drag, drop and paste, right? So that's that's the issue seeing it done three ways now. I'm gonna now line up, what do I got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine more I wanna do. So I'm just gonna grab nine of these things, nine more, one, two, three, four, five, six. That's, that's six and seven, eight, nine. So just grab a bunch of them, preload them up. Now I'm gonna go grab my emails, the next one. I'm gonna copy that out of here and bring up the Stream Deck, and this time, oops, hit the wrong button, open up my <laughs> editor, don't need that. I just go to the, the, click on the one I want, paste the URL, and enter. I'm gonna go get my Vimeo account. This is where I host a lot. And by the way, if you're interested in what I do with these, and if there's enough comments and why I choose these websites and why I use these different websites, some I pay for, some are free, I have no problem showing you or doing a video behind each of these or certain one of these, you just leave a, a link, a comment in this video and I'll make that happen. So there's there's the funnels. Now this may not have a title. So this one, I'm just gonna call my GHL. I'm gonna hit the T down, cause I wanna have that be in the middle and I want it bigger so I'll be able to read it just like that. And now let's go get, this one's just basic Google. And I, I really don't like when search engines try to insert themselves into your computer. Uh, let's get the next one. Okay, LinkedIn, we can do that. Copy, and then there's URL, paste, and let, now Opus Clips, oh man, I love Opus Clips. <laughs> I really kinda wanna do a video right now on why I like and use all these, but all I'm showing you is that you get all of these features here, all these buttons are going to be at your fingertips now, so when you wanna to go to these sites, you don't even need to open bookmarks or tools or nothing. I go to Stripe quite a bit. Um, and all I'm doing is just copying the URL and pasting it here, and then I'll get the last one will be mine. And we'll make sure all that works. Now I wonder if my favicon will show up on mine, will it? Let's see. Oh! No, my favorite comment won't work. So I'll have to figure out why that is and maybe get get that sorted out. So the title of this one is going to be, uh, I'll just call it my site, my website, and then I'm gonna figure out why mine doesn't populate. I bet I can figure that out maybe in some of the settings for 
SEO, something. I'll figure that out. I'll make a follow-up video on that. Purpose it isn't to get that done, though. Purpose is to get, uh, this is AI Image Creator. Purpose for me is to get this set up so that you can have easy access to all, all of your websites push of a button. So now watch this. I'm going to close these websites so they don't even exist, right? They're not even on my screen. And what's going to happen now, now I'm going to push this button, each of these buttons now, and this is exactly what it looks like. They're all programmed ready to go. So now when I push these buttons, and I'll go back to the desktop so you can see me push the button, and you'll watch it come up. So it's as simple as this now. All I got to do, ah, there we go. I push the first button, Facebook opens up, just like that. Push the next button, Zoom opens up. Push the third button, and that's YouTube. Hey, Don Pakula here, founder of Golden Goose. Let me pause that. Uh, email, opening up. Vimeo, opening up. Perfect. Uh, GHL, opening up. Google, opening up. LinkedIn, opening up. This is the uh, Opus Clips opening up. The AI Image Creator, Stripe, and finally, my website, all in a push button. I still got two more spaces before my next arrow. So uh, the last thing I think I want to show you here is what to do if you want to just change the order. So let's say, oh, for some reason, you know what? I want, I want my website to be on on this top row. Now, by the way, you might notice I don't use mine sideways like you're supposed to. I call it sideways. They would call this sideways. I use it vertically because I have a hard time trying to feel three rows of five. I can easily feel left, right, center. And there's a marking here where I know where I'm in the middle. So left, right, center, left, right, center. I use it sideways. Let me show you here under settings. You simply just go to um, device, and you can rotate the device to have everything lined up the way you want it. In fact, you saw it here in the pad. It was, it's all lined up to be, you know, re read right from here. So it's 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 love having that set up that way. But again, I prefer. I don't. I don't like this. I prefer this. So on this page now, all of my things. But like I said, for some reason, maybe you wanted to see a one of these, you wanted to see your website in the top line. All right, so I'll swap it out with Zoom. Zoom will come down. This one will go up. Zoom will take its place. Easy, drag and drop, and then it'll match exactly what you just typed in now. Now my website's at the top. Zoom's down here. Love, love, love the Stream Deck, and I love having a page, an entire page just dedicated to your best websites. Now, I'll put the link to the Stream Deck and other stuff in uh, in this video. Um you don't need to buy the 32 button unless you really, really want to. The 15 button with 10 pages minus maybe uh, two for forward and back. Yeah, you got lots of buttons here to program. So enjoy it. Try it. Test it out. Uh, I, I do talk about it on my challenges, both um, both monthly challenges and then the uh, the weekly workshops. I take care of explaining both of these during those events. If you're interested in that, go to my website. Uh, Golden Goose Services dot Golden Goose Studio, sorry, dot com. Golden Goose Services is the everything. Golden Goose Studios dot com is where I cover this, and uh, you'll find that here in YouTube. You can find it online. Google it. Um, in any of the videos, any of the links, you'll find information about this. Again, if you want to cover some of those websites, why I use them, put that in the chat, and I'll start making content along those lines. This will drastically change your life, change your speed, change your pr productivity, get you flying across websites that used to just be lost to bookmarks and, well, Chrome trying to remember where you went. <laughs> you can now clear your cache and be fine. Take care.